Hello guys, it's Sean with Today we're doing another Beyblade unboxing and we have the final mainline unboxing for Beyblade Burst. I guess you could argue that was Barricade Lucifer, but I mean this feels like the, the real final thing. And that is of course the V2 uh, set here, the anniversary set. So yeah, this is, I guess, yeah, the last real Burst release. And um... Yeah, I guess I'm going to go and open this up uh, off camera just because, you know, <laughs> it seems like it's just stuck in there. So anyway, I'm going to go and do that and come back. Alright, I got that out. I'll have to cut again. But for now, this is the box and that just looks great. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Yeah. So we have this whole thing on the back here, which is just like, yeah, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Um, wish my light wasn't interfering, but, yeah, there's a lot of stuff back there, let's go ahead and just open this up, and see what this is going to look like, and, yeah, yeah, that'll, uh, that'll do it, so, there we go, 2023 anniversary, and the four bays, which we're about to get into, so, gonna go ahead, and, uh, yeah, just, I guess, go and, uh, get this all sorted. Alright, so everything opened up. Um, so we actually have two launchers in here. We have both of these. Uh, I'll show this one first. We have a kind of light gray, dark gray launcher going on. And then also some blue on it. Uh, long rip cord, of course. Very nice. And then also we have this other launcher, a black and a light gray. Of course, the launcher has some red on it. Also, of course, a uh, long earth cord. Uh, nothing too crazy, just want to show them. Also, I do just want to mention that there are um, some stickers I did not put on for the bays, you can see. Uh, I don't I don't really do stickers, by the way. I just wanted to do the main ones, but um, yeah, I, I don't do stickers for Beyblade, really. Will I do these eventually? I don't know, but for now, I uh, opted to not. So anyway, we'll go over the bays though, and all of their sort of functions. We'll start off with Dragoon. So for Dragoon, we of course started from Dragoon S. Actually, let me show this thing first. Just here, here's Dragoon V2 actually, uh, before we do anything else. Um, so there's Dragoon V2, and we'll compare that to Dragoon S. I'm just going to do the comparisons now. Um, so yeah, before we get into the actual, uh, the bay itself. Here's Dragoon F. Looks a little bit more like it, I think. And then uh, Dragoon V. So this one was a uh, decent bit different, actually. But yeah, so for Dragoon V2, what, what does it have? What's going on with it? So... Um, has uh, strong teeth, but uh, yeah. So the driver is, of course, Explosion Dash. So, this sucks. Um, Explosion is, I don't think it's the best driver. Uh, I guess the rubber's kind of softer in here, but it's not like crazy. Um, I think it's still a decent driver, but they really locked Explosion Dash in this set. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't personally like that. These are supposed to be remake sets. They should just be to give, you know, cool versions of, uh, you know, old bays brought into Burst. I don't like that they locked this part and also another part into this set. Um, that's just me, though. I don't, I don't like that, so. Yeah, Explosion Dash. Also have the wheel disc, of course, painted black. This actually looks really nice, I will say. And then, of course, the Dragoon V2 layer. Got good teeth, and uh, yeah, really, really nice bay. So one thing to note is that the uh, original version of this uh, released in Random Booster Volume 25 as a secondary prize. That one did not have a painted wheel, and the driver was actually Exceed Dash, so it is different. Um, although that one also came with a painted six armor, so again, just some differences to uh, note. But, uh, yeah, so put this thing back together. And, yeah, 
There is Dragoon V2 Wheel Exceed Dash. Very, very cool day. Next, we're going to get to Dronzer V2. Here's what it looks like. I guess we'll compare it to some of the old Dronzers. So we first, of course, had Dronzer S. Very, very uh, different from that, for sure. Um, yeah. Dronzer F. Also very different. And Dronzer V. Slightly closer, but still, I feel like... Yeah, no, V2 is just a lot different than these. Taking it apart, um, we of course have the driver, which is Reboot Dash. I think this is the same time the uh, tabs and kind of this middle piece that pops out have been the same color as the base driver. Just interesting note there. Uh, zero disc. And also the cross frame. You got zero cross. And of course the Dronzer V2 layer. Very nice. Not as crazy teeth, but still decent. And there you have it, Dronzo V2, Zero Cross Reboot Dash. This is actually the only bay in the set that's uh, the exact same as its original counterpart. This, of course, released in uh, Random Booster Volume 26 as the secondary prize. The bay is the exact same. However, that one did come with a purple 10 armor. This one does not. So, yeah, it's a little bit different, I guess. But, yeah, Dronzo V2. We then probably get the most interesting of the V2 bays, in my opinion, by far, with uh, Drigger V2. So here is Drigger V2, and let's go ahead and get its comparisons out of the way. We have Drigger S, very, very different. Also have Drigger F, slightly closer, I guess. Very different regardless, though. And Drigger V, a bit closer, I guess, but still quite different. So this one is by far the most complicated of the bays. Uh, let me take it apart and uh, explain. So how does this even come off? I, I, I don't know, but uh, Okay, I might actually have to cut the video to figure that out. Alright, it just kind of twists out. It was just stuck in there. Anyway, so as far as parts go, we of course have a wedge dash. So, this is technically an original part for uh, Trigger, but this did release outside of this uh, set, so not as upset about it. Um, that's fine. We also have the illegal disc, which is painted to look like the plastic color. Very interesting, never seen anything like this before, but I am here for it, so looks very cool. Then we have the actual uh, Drigger V2 layer. Looks like this. And then there's also the support parts that are supposed to attach. So there's two ways to assemble this bay. You could assemble it without that, which is um, basically able to be used with any disc, so I'll go ahead and show what that looks like now. Uh, yeah, decent teeth, I guess. Not the best, but anyway. Yeah, here is Drigger V2 Illegal Wedge Dash without the support parts, so got a gap there. Eh, I guess they're still pretty solid. Anyway, let me attach the uh, support parts, if I could figure that out, but um don't know if I'll have much... Ah, there we go. 
So yeah, you just have to find like the tabs and uh, put those in, and then yeah, they just twist back on. Okay, it's pretty simple, I guess. Anyway, here is the actual Trigger V2 layer with the support parts. This can now only be used with DB discs, which I wish, I really wish that they would have made the other V2 bays like this, but they did not. So I guess <clears throat> they didn't have to, but it still would have been cool to have some kind of special mode. But anyway, let's go and assemble it. And there you go. Uh, Trigger V2 illegal wedge dash with the support parts. And this looks phenomenal. By far the best in the set, in my opinion. Um, I think second's probably Dragoon V2, and then last, Dronzer V2. So in third place, we actually have the new bay in the set, the exclusive, which is, of course, Drasil V2. We have the other bays here with um, Drasil S. Drasil F. And, of course, Drasil V. This one's very, very different from the previous ones, and I honestly don't like it as much. I prefer the spiky design. I don't really like this design nearly as much uh, as if I did the uh, previous Drasils, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, so... Yeah, uh, that's not the fault of Burst or anything, that's just, like, based on the, uh, the original. Uh, again, we have another unfortunate case of a new driver variant being locked in this set with Planet Dash. Um, wish they would have, you know, released it outside of here. Of course, you got the free spinning metal ball and then these two metal balls, these smaller ones that just move around. So, there you go. Got the uh, 10 disc. Four stars, nice. And, of course, the turn frame. So, there you go. We got 10 turn. And the Drasil V2 layer. Also pretty solid teeth, especially for a defense type. Go ahead and assemble this so I could get the driver to, there we go. There it is. Drasil V2. 10 turn planet dash. And that is uh, the set. So, yeah, I guess I'll zoom out and show the four. There you go. And I guess if you want to include the last one, there is also um, Gaia Dragoon V from the last set if you want to count that, but um, yeah. Anyway, that is the V2 set, and that is also, again, the final Burst product. Not the last Burst video on my channel, although it could be the last Burst unboxing. Doubt it, but you never know. Still will do Beyblade discussions on Burst, but anyway. Yeah, that's the V2 set. That's what everything that comes with it. Um, Overall, I do like this set. I wish they would have maybe put a little bit more effort, kind of like they do with the uh, Trigger V2. I think Trigger V2 is the best one in here by far. Um, yeah, I wish they would have maybe put a little bit more effort into the layers like that. And also, um, disc choice, I would have preferred DB discs for everything to accommodate that, but I guess, you know, whatever. And then, um, also the drivers, I think, you know, they did well in the drivers, but I wish that Explosion Dash and Planet Dash had, uh, releases outside of the set. I am fine with Drasil V2 being exclusive to the set, though. That's no big deal, so yeah. But yeah, that's everything. Still a solid set overall. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's that. So anyway, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.